working differently. Here are some highlights of the ways we've all been working differently this week. Schwartz team time. Schwartz rounds have been running at the Trust for six years, but due to social distancing, they can't be held in the same way. And the current need to support ourselves emotionally is greater than it's ever been. The team have started Schwartz team time. This is a virtual forum for teams to get together to talk about the emotions they're currently facing using storytelling and facilitation. Sessions last 30 minutes and are over WebEx so anyone can join in. By reflecting in a protected space, it helps normalise emotions and promote connectedness. This in turn improves well-being and the ability to continue to deliver the best possible care in a challenging environment. Condom and pregnancy testing provision. A number of outlets who usually supply condoms to young and vulnerable people have been forced to close. Wish is currently offering condoms via a postal service. This is being promoted via the website and on social media. It's subsequently been agreed to extend the provision to also provide pregnancy tests. This means that young and vulnerable people can continue to get the sexual health resources that they need. End of life medication. The pharmacy team needed to ensure all patients across the trust receive appropriate end of life medication within an appropriate time frame during the pandemic. Some of the procedures they have in place include conducting a weekly stock review, a standard operating procedure allowing the transfer of controlled drugs between wards and inpatient sites, collaboratively working across the STP to allow access to short supply medicines in community settings, and supporting the development of the palliative care team's process in allowing family members or carers to administer end-of-life medication by injection in the exceptional circumstance that a member of the community team could not visit the patient's home. This means that stock levels are well managed and that patients are able to receive the end-of-life medication they need in an appropriate time frame. For the full case studies and more examples, please head to the Working Differently internet page. Let us know how you've been working differently. Send us an email or use the hashtag.